Battlefield 2042 beta is over. Oh man, I miss it. Had some problems, had some love, had a good time playing it overall. But today I want to talk about some Portal stuff because I feel like we haven't really talked about Portal in a while. So let's hop in and have a chat about what we can expect to see in Battlefield Portal. Welcome. 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 Welcome to Uplink. But before we hop into that, definitely do check out our podcast called The Battlefield Show, released every Friday. Myself and Sammy Boy talk about all things in the world, Battlefield 2042, past, present, future, our expectations, our experiences, and all of the news. So definitely go check that out. It releases every Friday. This Friday, we'll be talking about all the Hazard Zone details. So definitely stay tuned for that. Speaking of Hazard Zone, if you are not aware, this Thursday at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time or uh, 8 a.m. Pacific Time, we're getting details around Hazard Zone. So definitely stay tuned for that. We'll be breaking all the details down, having a reaction as well on the channel. So don't forget to subscribe for that. But now let's hop into some Battlefield Portal discussion. Battlefield Portal was super big in the announcement. I remember the discussion around that being super big. I believe the reaction on the channel that we had was one of our like biggest hits in terms of the uh at the time views and kind of interaction but like we haven't really heard a bunch about it and it, it's kind of disappointing to see that we haven't heard any more details but ultimately i think battlefield portal is one of the biggest experiences in the game it's going to have a huge impact on how people play a big question i've been seeing around is why would you play all-out warfare when you can control the experience of all-out warfare in battlefield portal let's say you just despise the specialist system well go to portal turn them off make sure that it's all classes that is something that you can do in battlefield portal i'm of two minds on this one i'm really happy that we're getting this amount of customization in the game and then on the other hand it's kind of like man dice kind of shot themselves in the foot with this one because it's giving us these this opportunity to create our own experiences and draw away from the larger scale of all-out warfare and i think there's two kind of reasons that this could be huge or it could kind of flop one depending on how they change up the specialist system we could be seeing something incredibly different and incredibly new and incredibly unique in terms of how battlefield is played now that could be a good thing or a bad thing and depending on the changes that they make i think is going to ultimately decide that if they do make some really good changes to specialists making them either more specialized or less specialized and make them more class-like i think we could see all-out warfare being a huge draw but i think a concern of mine is if all-out warfare is such a big deal and they're putting all this effort into it but most people play portal what does that look like in terms of support so we've got two different game studios dice is working on the mainline experience and then we've got ripple effect games working on battlefield portal and they have said they have a year of uh supported content that's going to be added to portal we don't know the specific details of that but we do know something is going to be happening we also assume that we'll be seeing more updates to the mainline experience. But what does that look like as we go forward? I think right off the bat, most people are going to be playing All Out Warfare. But in the long run, I see Portal as this really big experience, whether good or bad. I'm, that That is one of the concerns is, will there be so many servers made that they're all filled with bots? I think it's a possibility, depending on how many people get to go really deep but i do think there's going to be popular genre of those servers that people really lean towards and maybe there is a specific game maker that is like man this person's top tier they're putting in a bunch of effort what is this going to be looking like they're going to they're going to really define how battlefield portal is and here are all the details around battlefield portal that we know from the website with their frequently asked questions section. We will be playing the game experience of Battlefield Portal at launch on November 19th. It'll be a week earlier, so November 12th, if you have early access, if you've pre-ordered the game, or have EA Play Pro, I believe. It's all, all in that bundle. So far, so good. And Battlefield Portal will include maps, weapons, gadgets, vehicles, factions, and classes from each of the games. So we have 1942, we have Battlefield 3, and we have Bad Company 2. So those are the main games that they're drawing the content from. So far, so good as well. And then they, the, something that I think a lot of people are curious about is how the servers will be 
Now, you will not be able to have dedicated servers. You will have to have someone in the lobby for it to stay live. I don't think at this point it has to be you to keep it going. Let's say you build a server and then you hop off, but your friends are still playing. It should still stay live. I mean, that's something that has not been confirmed yet, but we do know it won't just stay open if there's nobody in there. More than likely to save the amount of resources that they have to allocate to these servers but the good thing is the fee to set up these servers is zero zip zilch it's going to be free to be able to build a battlefield portal server which is good i think that's a good move i do hope maybe in the future if if there is like an organization or like a discord that is really big maybe you can pay to keep a dedicated server instead of just having okay johnny you over there on, on Fridays, you have to log in and keep your game running so people can hop on. Billy, on Tuesdays, that's your job. Sarah, on Thursdays, that's your job. You got to play on there. But, I mean, that is a way to get around it. Obviously, not the best way. And they specifically worded on the website as, These servers are created when you make a match and then shut down once the server is empty. So it shouldn't be tied to the actual person that started it, hopefully. And it will also fill in bots. Say you want to play 128 players uh, team deathmatch on a really tiny map. I mean, that's something that I'm definitely going to be doing as soon as I possibly can. If you can't find 128 players or 128 players don't join in, it will fill those slots with bots, just like the main game. And you can also customize it if you don't want bots. I believe you can turn them off uh, because they have the builder and you, you can really customize what exactly is in the game. So that's really good to see as well. There are two ways that you can customize these matches. One is well, with the setting system. So this is something that you will be able to control in the game menu. This is something that you'll boot into the battlefield portal section of the game if the beta is to be believed it, it's going to be like you start up the game it's these three sections all at warfare hazard zone portal so you go to the portal section you'll hop in you should be able to search different uh lobbies and different servers hopefully nice could you just please make it easy to browse servers stop trying to hide it battlefield servers have been a thing forever server searches needs to be in the game don't make it difficult don't make it into advanced settings obviously they'll have the rotation of their official ones the fan favorite community pick ones and then you can go into the settings section to create your own and you'll be able to customize the different settings and they specifically stuff like uh specific conditions but if you want to go even deeper, they also have the logic editor, which will be through a specific website that they have. And they say this will let you define rules, victory conditions, consequences of specific in-game events, like setting a reward or punishment for a player scoring a kill, and even more to create custom game modes that aren't possible to create with the settings alone. While the maps will be reimagined for Battlefield Portal experience, it's important to note that they will not be editable. So if there's maybe you want to get rid of the skyscraper add five skyscrapers you can't do that not in portal but i believe you can adjust the size of the map but i don't think this is official i just think this is me kind of assuming things so definitely take that with a grain of salt i would love to hear your thoughts around battlefield portal as well do you think it's going to be as big a deal as I think it could be? Again, I don't think it's going to be huge in the beginning, but I definitely think it's going to have a longer lifespan than All Out Warfare. I think most people are going to be playing All Out Warfare, then they're going to hop into Battlefield Portal. Or do you think it's going to be the reverse? Or do you think the main draw to this game is going to be Hazard Zone, which we're going to find out more details soon? Would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Love to interact. Love to hear your thoughts. But anyway... Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you on the battlefield.